Hey, hey, everybody, it's Toronto Guy here for another exquisite. Yeah, we're going to use new words every episode from now on. Another exquisite ah, episode of Toronto Guy Cooks. As you can see, we got our slow cooker again. We got the original. This is the very first slow cooker I ever owned. I got it for, I've had it for about 20 years. Old Faithful crock pot brand. That's right, you're jealous. Today, oh, I'm very excited about today, man. <laughs> today, we are making slow cooked pulled pork with homemade cornbread. <sighs> now, obviously, we're going to start with the pork because it takes a lot longer to make in the slow cooker than the cornbread. But, let me just show you. I'd never made cornbread before until last night. I did a trial run. The recipe I followed, just wanted to make sure it worked. Well, as you can see, it worked. This is from last night, but don't worry. We're going to make a fresh batch just for all of you whiners out there. You know who you are. Yeah, you. You. With the boobs and with the butt. You know who you are. But, it's so light and fluffy and delicate that we're going to use these leftovers for taste testing the pulled pork and maybe even the picture because it's so as I said it's so light it's just so delicate when it's done it's like oh my god it's gonna fall apart in my hand it's so awesome so yeah so don't worry we're gonna make cornbread for real first we're gonna start with four lovely pounds of pork well first you start by removing the lid clown there we go let's put our pork oh, loin I'm using a loin pork loin in our lovely slow cooker there we go look at it all getting along baby four pounds of of just awesomeness oh man reach around city coming my way baby <laughs> all right there you go now you get in there flatten it a bit there we go there we go everybody getting along very good very good yeah you about done all right can you stop bloody hell it's not the lid show it's the toronto guy show now we're gonna start by adding our stuff Right here we got one big onion all nice and chopped. In amongst is it is two big garlic cloves. You can use more, I would technically, I would usually use more, but the barbecue sauce, that's probably using barbecue sauce, pulled pork. The barbecue sauce that I'm using is garlic flavored. I could not find any regular flavored barbecue sauce. So since the barbecue sauce is already gonna have garlic in it, just stick with that, you know what I mean? All right, and to that, got one nice quarter cup of brown sugar. There we go, get in there, yeah. Got some chili powder and some dried thyme. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it already smells good and it's not even cooking yet. Holy crap, Ola. And to that, we're gonna add about one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. It's Worcestershire, okay? Not Worcestershire's. Worcestershire sauce, all right? About a tablespoon, so let's just do it by eye. Yeah, I have a great eye. Yeah, how's everybody doing? See, it only comes out little droplets, so just keep going like that until you're like, yeah, that's about a tablespoon, it's all good. There we go. There we go. That's about a tablespoon. It's all good. Right on. And to this, about a tablespoon of yellow mustard. We're using classic French's mustard, which I believe is a Canadian brand. If it's not, no, it says, it says, um, um, oh, I really need reading glasses. No, I can see that. 100% Canadian mustard seeds. All right. About a tablespoon. There we go. Get in there. I love mustard. See, I didn't love the sound it makes. I know people who, stop, you're interrupting. There we go, about a tablespoon and more, yeah. I know people who can't stand mustard. I love mustard, man. Mustard with mayonnaise and with 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 lunch meat on, on, a, on bread to make a sandwich. It's amazing, yeah, love it. And to this, we're gonna add about half a cup of lovely apple cider vinegar. There we go, hip hip hurrah. I even know people who don't like vinegar. I'm like, what is wrong? Vinegar is just packed, packed with flavor. And this is apple and cider in it, man. Get in there. Oh. It's already smelling amazing. It's not even cooking yet, man. Yeah. And half a cup of chickened broth. That's right, broth that's been chickened. There we go. It's half a cup to get in there. Yeah, look at me measuring. Yeah, I'm a measurer. Oh, this is going to be so awesome, man. My place is going to smell amazing today. Holy moly. Going to add about a teaspoon of oil. So let's get some extra virgin olive oil. There we go. It's about a teaspoon of olive oil that has not had its cherry popped. Ah, yes. And finally... We're gonna add about one cup of this Kraft garlic barbecue sauce. Smells like barbecue sauce. So let's just let's, let's get roughly a cup. There we go. All right. See, I know you notice how I did the barbecue sauce last because I was using this cup for all the other stuff. Didn't want all the other stuff competing with 
barbecue sauce left on the sides, you know what I mean? Yeah, see, that kind of stuff. Right on. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. I've made pulled pork before years ago, so I know this is gonna be good. I didn't follow this recipe, but I know it's gonna be awesome because I'm the king. Now we're just gonna give it a nice little mix up to mix up all the the non-pork ingredients so they'll combine, get along, make out with each other, have a little party. And as this slow cooks, everything's gonna move to the bottom. They're gonna, hey, they're gonna be like, hey man, I never noticed. There's four fat bitches in here, man. And everybody's gonna, oh my God, let's all freaking hang with the fat bitches on the bottom. And everybody's gonna hang out. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, it already smells awesome, looks awesome. It's gonna even taste awesomer. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells lovely. Holy moly. Now, oh, get out of here. Freaking spatula's always trying to hog the spotlight. Now, now it could be the lid show. We're going to cook this on high. There we go. For five hours. That's right. And at the five hour mark, we're going to come back and get our cornbread going. And when I do that, I'm going to turn this to low. And while the cornbread is doing its thing, the cornbread is doing its thing. This is gonna be cooking on low. And then when it's done, we're gonna take some forks and shred it all up until uh, 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 to make a pulled pork with onions and garlic and seasonings. And... <sighs> Worcestershire sauce and more. So we got five hours to just sit here and wait. Oh, all right. That was fast, right on. All right, that's been five long hours of just standing here doing nothing. All right, now, what I'm gonna do, smells, first of all, smells freaking amazing in here. <sighs> yep. Okay, so we're gonna take this, let's put it aside up here. There we go. And we're gonna set our crock pot now to low. We're gonna keep cooking it, but on low. Because now, get the, get the wires out of the way so we don't burn the house down. Safety first, clowns. Safety first. There we go. Now, I said safety first. Look at these wires not participate, not friggin' what you may call it. They're not like, uh, they're not uh, cooperating. That's what they're not doing. There we go. 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 All right, now, we're gonna start our cornbread. Got old red here. Ah. Smells so friggin' good in here, I'm telling you. Anyway, the oven is preheated at 400 degrees. So let's get our cornbread going. Got a cup of flour, all purpose, hip hip hurrah. Cup of yellow cornmeal, all purpose, hip hip hooray, yeah, haha. -ha. We got about a teaspoon of salt and three and a half teaspoons of baking powder in there. There we go, very, very good. And we've got about three quarter cup of sugar. There we go, for the sweetness of the corny bread, baby. Love it. Now we're just gonna mix all this up and combine it before we add our wetness ingredients. It so smells good in here, love it. Oh, yep. All you ladies, man, you screwed up big time. That's right, all right. So let's combine it all nicely. Looks kind of slanty there. Stop slantying. There, let's fix that. Stop slantying. All right. All nice and combined with our whisker. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, stop, man. Everything's gonna be the great, man. There we go. Yeah, beautiful. Now we're gonna add some wet stuff. We're gonna add a cup of milk. Now what I like to do is I like to just, well, this is what I did last night when I did the, the trial run, and I do this. Don't put it all in yet, because I don't want it all to dissolve but before I'm, as I'm adding more wet stuff, you know? So we got our cup of milk. Gonna add one lovely egg to it. There we go. Thank you very much for coming out. I'm gonna transfer this over because I still I want to add them all at the same time. That's what I like to do here at Toronto Guy Cooks, the, the greatest cooking show on the history of the earth. And to this, we are going to yeah, let's, uh, get about a third of a cup of lovely extra virgin OO, EVOO, olive oil. Yeah, there we go. You know what I mean. All right, there we go. There we go. Nice third of a cup. Set that aside as well right on and two tablespoons of melted salted butter which may not appear in the recipe i added this myself last night in fact last night i added one tablespoon i'm doing two now because i want to 
Let's start adding our, our wets now. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Here's our oil. And our milk and our egg. There we go. Now you can choose to use an electric mixer for this, but I've heard, I read online that you shouldn't because it'll take away some of the lumpiness and the lumpiness is what makes cornbread awesome. So I'm using my whisker. We're going to mix it all up till it's nice and thick. Ah, oh, smells lovely. Ah, oh, it's going to be great, baby. Toronto guys cooking again, baby. Cooking again with the power of Grayskull. All right. Thank you, Whisker. There we go. Now we're gonna take our uh, eight inch by eight inch, about the size of my wanger, haha, <laughs> pan, pre-grease it up nice and greasy. There we go. Ah, transport the loveliness into the aforementioned greased up pan. There we go. How's everybody doing? Doing well? Right on. There we go. I want to get every little bit of it as much as possible. Don't want to leave too much behind. There we go. It came out nice and friggin' evenly flat and lovely. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Oh, it's going to be great. 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And then after 20 minutes, what I'd like to do, I'd do the same with my desserty breads, and I did it last night with the trial run cornbread, is after 20 minutes, I'm gonna raise it to 425 and let it go for another five minutes to get a nice golden brown on the top. Oh, it's gonna to be, let's hurry, stop talking and do it in there. There we go, let's put it in our oven. Oh, lovely. Let's set the timer, man. There we go, 20 minutes. You know what? I was gonna just be like, we'll see you in 25 minutes. No, let's get some forks and let's pull the porks. All right, so let's uh, put that back, baby. Let's uh, give it a smell. Oh, love it, baby. All right. Uh, uh, well, first, we, should we, uh, but I must oh, look at it just coming apart. Should I grab a spatula and, and let, let, me, let me do that real quick? All right, let's give it a quick mix. Oh, see how the pork was just coming apart with the porky porkiness? Oh, it's punching me in the face with awesomeness. Love it. Oh, there we go. We'll give do more mixing as we shred it all. Right on. You can go away. Now let's shred it on up. There we go. Just take and go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right. Oh, it's just coming apart, man. It's so... It's like, oh, thank you for cooking me up, Toronto guy. Enjoy the taste of my porkness. Thank you, pig. Oh, and we, we still got like another, they're still, they're like hiding down there. No, don't, don't shred me. Too bad, we're shredding you. Oh, we're gonna pull you apart. Like, like, like in the movie Hellraiser. Yeah, when they friggin, get, oh, look at it, just coming apart, man. In the Hellraiser, when they just like, Take the, those spiky chain things and put them into the dude and rip his body apart. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. Yeah, love it. And you see too, as I'm doing this, everything's getting thicker and there's still more pork to pull. Yeah, but look at this big piece. It's like, no, like, yay. Oh, I love it. Oh, it smells amazing. Looks amazing. It's going to taste phenomenal. Oh, yeah, baby. You know what we're gonna do now? Let's just turn the heat off in the slow cooker. It's, it's, it's like ready. So we're just gonna turn the heat off and uh, continue pulling this pork. Ah, see if there's any big chunks left. Yeah, there's some. You're not, yeah, you're not getting away. You're gonna end up in my belly and then eventually in the toilet and then eventually in Lake Ontario and then eventually in people's bellies again. Circle of life belly to get via water. You know, that kind of stuff, yeah. Or the fish that eat the poo. They're gonna be caught and then we're gonna eat the fish that's made up of our poo. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Oh, shred that pork, baby. All right, now let's keep the forks. Uh, uh, mm. Oh my God, just licking the forks. Let's give it a, 
There we go, mix it up, there we go. Let everybody reintroduce itself to the insides of the lovely pieces of pork. There we go. Oh, it's just so thick. I mean, you can put this on just regular bread on buns and have pulled pork sandwiches, but we're going uh, fancy, man. That's what we're doing here on Toronto Guy Cooks. We're going just like, yeah, we're going um, fine dining. Yeah, this is totally fine dining. This is Gordon Ramsay Michelin star fine dining, baby. Love it. Ah, oh, so thick and porky and pulley. Let's do some more pulling as we got about another 15 minutes left for the bread. You know, we don't want to take too long doing this, so what we're going to do is we're going to skip to the bread being ready and taking out the bread and cutting out the bread and getting ready to boil it right now. All right! There we go. Bake off that down. We're going to let it sit there for a second. Our bread as we... Oh, I just just make out with myself, man, for real. Let's give our pork a few more pulls. Ah, oh, beautiful. Smells awesome. Looks awesome. Pulled pork. It's a man's meal. That's right. It's a man's meal. None for you ladies out there or you boys. It's a man's food. Yeah, it's man food. All right. Look at it. All the sauce has soaked into the pork. Now it just wants to be eaten and then pooped out so it can be eaten again and pooped out for just generations to come. Love it. Oh, yeah. Let's give it a little forky taste. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Hey. We're going to take some of our pork that's been pulled, we put it in a bowl for now. Give it a chance to just get to know the bowl. Oh, love it. Oh, hurry up, get in there. Don't tell me no. There we go. Oh, awesome. In there. Oh, just all this pork been pulled and it's just waiting to be devoured by the king. But you can set aside because we got to get our bread, baby. All right. I'm going to come back to you later. Yeah. All right. What a chef and a half. Turn off our light. Let's grab our lovely corny bread. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh yes, please. There's our lovely cornbread. Ah, oh, yes. As usual, the lighting does no justice, blah, 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 because you're all selfish with your money, but trust me, this looks friggin' amazingly amazing. Let's grab a toothpick, because the general rule in baking is, you know, if we put in a toothpick in the middle, if it comes out clean, it's ready. In the middle, come out clean. Mm, you're ready. Beautiful. <sighs> now, we gotta get the cornbread out. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take a plate, right? I'm gonna put a plate on top, flip this over, and then put it on another plate. All right, gonna do that real quick. Ow, Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Give me my friggin' duck fingers. There we go, duck fingers. All right, comes clean out. Uh, look at the bottom. You all just wish, all right? You just wish, simple as that. You just all wish. Oh my God, okay. Oh. Now, as I said at the beginning, I'm not going to use this. We didn't even try it with the cornbread pieces. Last night's cornbread to mix in, just dip it. But the pitcher, ah, oh. you know, while, while we're just going to let this sit for a second while I grab a piece of last night's cornbread and just dip it in here and taste it. Okay. Uh, uh, soak up that freaking juice, baby. Uh, uh, mm. Holy crap, man, this is freaking phenomenal. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's so good. And like, this is a, look at how crumbly the bread is. Even from yesterday, it's still very crumbly and fresh and awesome. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna cut this up in the square, alright? Let's cut it up. Oh, clean through, baby. Love it. Lid back on. I'm gonna get back to you later. All right. 
what we're gonna do, we're gonna take out the middle piece. All right. You know what, give me back the friggin' uh, pan pan. Well, first let me show everybody how it's beautifully cooked throughout. Oh, cornbread for me and nobody else. Love it. Get our pan pan back, it's had time to cool. There you go, you can all get back. Don't worry, you're all gonna be eaten too. Yeah, you're all gonna be turned into poo. Ah, love it. Oh, it smells amazing, the cornbread. Ah, oh yeah, which piece should I use though? Man, choices, choices, choices. Ah. Oh, here, you can stick out. We're gonna use the middle one. Oh, all right. Very delicate, very delicate. So handle with care the freshly baked cornbread. I'm gonna just put it to the side, right about there. Oh, there we go. As usual, the lighting, blah, blah, blah. Here's a picture. Oh, and there you have it, kids. Slow cooked pulled pork with homemade cornbread. It smells awesome in here. You know what I might do tonight? I might just like sit on my right hand tonight for a while just to lose all feeling in it and then go to town on myself so it'll feel like it's somebody else going to town on me just because I'm such a great cook. <sighs> None for you. We'll see you next time on Toronto Guy Cooks.